Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find and learn to play one more turn of the great strategy games today, back into our Let's Play of Old World, and this is episode number two, and we were at turn eight, year eight, uh, we've got Greece, Rome, Egypt, and the Gauls that we know about out here. Uh, we were about to end the year, but I thought we would just kind of look around, see what the situation is. Now, here are the Gauls. We are currently paying them off because, uh, well, they threatened us, and I thought, eh, rather than to get into an early war and maybe set ourselves back a little bit, let's leave them alone. I have also, or, well, I say leave them alone. We're sending them some food every time. Uh, the Barbarians are right up here, but you see Egypt is just north of the Barbarians. I think I'll just let them, you know, kind of slug it out with each other if we can. Our scout's all the way down here by the Gauls, uh, another group of Gauls, right? So it's not like they just have one encampment. It seems they have two. We do have two uh, cities going here, and we've got the Argiads, our military-type city at Amphipolis, uh, this was the second city we formed, and we're building another warrior there because the Argiads build uh, better warriors. And then we've got our capital city of Pella here. That is under the Sipslids. Uh, they are currently building a fissure, okay, um, because we've got some nets out here, and that's going to give us some good food. We've also got some farms. We're really uh, cranking out uh, some food here at Pella, which is eh, not a, necessarily what we want to do. Uh, the Sipsalids are actually better uh, miners and lumber mills. Well, we're not to the point of doing lumber mills yet, but they could be mining something. So we'll get around to that soon enough. Was there anything else I wanted to do? Let's go down here. City founded. Amphipolis, okay, we already knew that, and we are now known as Philip the Settler, and giving us the Settler uh, increases our legitimacy, so every time we do something kind of great, uh, we get a new uh, cognomen, as they call it in this game, uh, we were Philip the Founder, now we're Philip the Settler, and so we'll get rid of that, get rid of that, he says, uh, I had to get off the tooltip. There we go. Uh, we do not have a governor down here in Amphipolis yet, but we will get one eventually. Um, okay, I think I think we're good to end the year. We'll, you see here, our first research for divination, we will get next time. So we will go and look at our tech tree and see where we want to go next. All right. So we could get a stone boost, and as you see, sometimes in the early game that can be very helpful. But here, we're okay. We're only negative one per turn. We've got 92. Uh, trapping, obviously something where we're going to want to get early on. You get the slinger, you also get the camp. Uh, labor force, roads, and then you pick between slavery or freedom, depending uh, on what you want to do with your empire. Or a free settler. Now, this one, you can see in red down there, permanently trash when discarded. Well, we don't want that because it takes, you know, six or seven years to build a settler. So if they're going to give us one in five, we'll take it. But let's go look at the tech tree just to kind of see where we are. We started out with ironworking, stone cutting, and what was the other? Oh, drama. So stone cutting and drama and ironworking. Those were the three we started with. Uh, and you can see where labor force is. So if there's something back here we really want to get, we can put a bullseye on it and it'll tell us, you know, what we need to go or the path we need to go down to get that. Uh, monasticism, uh, monasticism, I should say, is obviously very helpful uh, because you can start to spread your culture uh, you, you know, in the, that case, your religion without warfare, uh, rhetoric, forum, epics, exploration, uh, some interesting ones there. We definitely want to get trapping and then military drill and steel uh, just because we want to keep up militarily, even if that's not our prime focus. But let's get out of the tech tree. And if we go up here, let's take research free settler. And there we go. And um, let's click. Yeah, that's what I want. I want the free settler. Uh, improvement finished, farm was finished, and we discovered divination. Now that we have divination, we can start to build different shrines that'll give us, you know, different kinds of bonuses. Uh, make next decision. 
like mother, like daughter, the walk. What is this? A trusted advisor informs you that, for better or worse, Duchess Erixo is showing signs of taking after her mother, Queen Consort Olympias. How this influence will shape is yet to be seen. And if we look at her, she is debauched and compassionate. So she's a nice debauchery. Uh, sure, she's wise, she's charismatic, not very courageous, um, uh, but she does have a little bit of discipline, which I doesn't really go with debauch, does it? I, I don't know. But Erixo is young, we don't know much about her yet, and so we'll see down here. Duchess Erixo becomes either compassionate, inspiring, or foolish. Well, let's hope for one of the first two. Uh, she becomes compassionate, and you can see that gives her plus one charisma and plus one discipline. We'll take that. Okay, fine. So now you see down there, she's compassionate. The wind passes through the trees as you walk through the streets of Pella. Getting away from the palace has an invigorating effect, generating new ideas and questions of ambition. Will you take one of these ideas forward? And so these are the ambitions that are another way to win the game. If we complete 10 of these, we win the game. We need farms to ensure that our people are fed. Starts ambition, control six farms. I will build mines to get iron. Okay, uh, control six mines. Quarries are the future. Or, uh, no, but I do feel rested. Let's do farms. That's a pretty obvious one, I think. Uh, okay, King Philip the Seller started a new ambition, control six farms. Okay, well, we've already got two uh, right there. And we're building a third one. So, you know. We've, we've got things going on. We could build the Shrine of Zeus down here. That's where it's recommending we do that. Uh, what else could we do with this worker? Um, you know, some of these square, or some of these hexes, I should say. Let's click on this again. There is a, a build a quarry out here. There is... There is stone right there. I think we may want to do that. The temple, we've got another, do we have another worker here? Where's our other worker? It's that one. Uh, I think, oh, that's right. I transferred the one down here to do the farm. So we've really only got, you know, two workers right now. Let's come back to that in a second. Let's look at our military units. So we've got 10 orders here. We've got this military unit. This is a level two unit. We just leveled this one up. Uh, it's got steadfast and infantry. So steadfast, though, that's the unit you're going to want to go out to fight barbarians or, or other tribal units. Well, we know we've got tribal units here in the Gauls, and we've got tribal units up here, the barbarians. I think we probably want to keep this one over here then. So let's bring this unit here for an order and put it on sentry okay and then let's take our other unit and this one is brave combat combat let's put this back at our capital i think that probably makes the most amount of sense we could put it out here in the garrison eventually this is a big city uh let's put it right in pella okay so we'll put them there and put that on sentry duty as well. We're not being offensive yet. Not really. We need to found a third city at least. Got another warrior that will show up here at Amphipolis. But that will also be steadfast. And so that will be nice. Okay, back up to the worker. And I think we need to go over here and mine. Now we're going to waste a turn getting over here to the mine. Uh, but I think that's something we need to do. We still have three orders left. And we still have the scout. The scout is out here by the Gauls. Um, why don't we go here? Is there some, well, I already harvested that. We could have harvested the wine, uh, but I don't want to get him in a position. I mean, we are paying off the galls. All right, he can go there. Let's go there, uh, and next time we'll have him harvest the wine. Uh, that'll give us a little culture. Okay, so this time King Philip the start Settler has started a new ambition, control six farms. Uh, fine. Looks good. Done. What's in the year? All right, prick. Alexander the Bold, your son and general of the warrior, your heir, never seems to keep his word and is now known as the Deceitful. Ah! 
Damn it, Alexander. Uh, he is now a negative two. Um, gosh darn it. That's too bad. He's now a negative two discipline. You can see there, or it gave him a negative two. He's negative two overall. Why do you got to be that way, kid? Okay, anyway, we're going to start building this quarry. Always nice to have a you know, a quarry here, uh, get a nice bit of stone going. As you can see, we've got nine more orders. Uh, our training's at 2.30, so we could actually go down to this warrior group and use some of that. Uh, 190 of that, and we could go to Focus, Tracker, Brave, or Shield Bear. I think I'll go with Brave there. And it just gets better and better, this unit. You can only improve them five times. Just keep that in mind. So some that you may want to specialize, right? Uh, we'll harvest some wine. Excellent. That gave us some nice culture. Let's... Do, 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 do. I really want to actually go west now. Um, but let's do it this way so we clear out some other stuff. Go up there. Eh, let's go straight across. And now he's done. Uh, turn summary. Yep, he's deceitful. I've heard about. I've heard about it. I'm very disappointed in our son. Um, but he's a bad kid. What can I say? Okay, a luxurious demand. As our treasury is filled with the finest luxuries, the Sipsilid family has come to demand a cut of the wealth. They desire more of our collected dyes, or they will make our job of governing difficult. Really? Okay. What should we tell them? Uh, if it keeps you happy, we can give you the dies. They forget their place. Negative 40. Now, that would be negative 40, you know, for all of... Let's go to all characters here. She, Princess Consort Metrodora, already dislikes us to some degree. Speaking of which, we need to look down here. Now, the governor, Hipparchia the Younger, she's, she's cool with us. Uh, you know, plus 20. The other two characters don't care... But that would cause our second in line, uh, Duke Pyrrhus, uh, to also not be real happy with us. Uh, no, they. I'm not going to let... Get out of here. You can't have our dies. Egypt contact, contacts you with an intriguing proposal. If you'd be willing to part with some of your luxuries, they'll happily round out your court with either a talented trader or minister. What do you say? Boy, everybody wants our dyes. Send dyes to Egypt as a luxury. Princess Nefirer of Egypt would be a courtier, a court merchant. Um, okay. Or we could get a court minister. Eh. Nah, we'll keep our luxuries for the time being. I think I'm going to do that one. Now, this is what you use lux luxuries for, right? Is to buy people off and stuff. The vassals, uh, the Sipsalid family, know well that you have access to luxuries. They do not. They want to see... They want what they see as their share, but are willing to make a trade. If you would be good enough to part with some, they will give you your choice of courtiers. What do you say? This seems like a good trade. Um... No, I don't want to give up those. I'm going to go 40 XP there. Philip is you. Promote King Philip the Settler. So we kept getting experience points, and once you get another 100, when that happens, uh, you get to upgrade yourself, right? And what do we want um, our king here to do? I think I want Wisdom. He's got one discipline, four courage, no charisma. You can see what difference that would make. Wow. Now, that's quite a bit of gold every turn, but we're doing fine on gold, I feel like. Let's do science. So I'm going to give him wisdom. Okay, some story events. I like it. Pella developed a specialist, the fisher. So we do have a fisher out here. Uh, the three extra orders from last time were sold for 30. And then this other stuff that's been going on. So, well, let's actually go up here to Pella, where we now have a fisherman. Where is that? I thought it was this guy, right? Pella dies. No, it must be over here. Nets improvement. Okay. 
ah, there it is. Okay, so when we go to the city view, you can see the fisherman. And this fisherman's giving us four culture, plus one science, plus 40 gold, and the luxury dies, which everybody seemingly wants. Um, we could do another fisher specialist, okay, uh, if that's what we wanted to do, or we could build something else. Uh, we could build a settler, but we... Do, 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 do. Oh, I never... Um... Did I make my selection on the tech tree? Well, we'll go... Yeah, I guess I did. Uh, you can't see it in the city view. So we're going to be getting a settler. Uh, we're up to 60 of 100 on discontent. We're developing there. What I was thinking is, you know, we could get rid of quite a bit of discontent here for this four year we also could maybe potentially use another worker although the one guy seems to be handling everything fine that's okay um scout militia i think i will do a festival council let's do a festival that'll take four years okay and that'll take down our discontent so we don't have any question that there's not going to be uh negative effects from that right because this is only advancing well it's plus 10 a year so we'll get that just in time uh we're building up developing culture which is the second level uh that all looks good okay close that yeah free settler in three years uh let's go to our army 115 but it's going to take 300 to promote anything we could also make philip their general uh but i don't want to do either so let's make them uh sentry and we come back to our scout and I really, really, well, let's back up a little bit and see, is there some special place we want to go? Well, yeah, west, you know, so I want to try to bring him over here as far as I can. Let's go to, how about up there? Is that right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, nothing else to do in year, and we are going to be in... Year 12, Duchess Erixo is now old enough to be tutored. Okay, good to know. What do we want Erixo to do? Well, she's already got some charisma and discipline. Uh, that's good. Uh, we could give her wisdom or career. I always like the wisdom. I like science, I guess. I don't know. Uh, what is she good at, though, at this point? Uh, we don't know, right? I mean, she's just got the charisma. We don't. She doesn't have an archetype yet. Uh, she could do politics she's already got a little charisma ah let's just do that that sounds good to me okay we have got a worker now that can build something else we could do stone you can see here we've got a farm a honey farm uh we could also come down here and build a shrine of zeus although i'd probably rather do that in the capital if i was going to build a shrine here i feel like i would want to do the shrine of poseidon potentially uh can also come down here and do some nets let's do that i love i love capturing the crabs out there uh crab cakes for everyone okay let's get our scout going i'll put them over here on the gold let's harvest the gold that just gives us a nice free money boost. Then we can come up here to the gems. Let's harvest the gems. That gives us a culture boost. Uh, so we've used both of those. We could also, while we're here, uh, get some more. But maybe we'll come back and do that later. Oh, there's more galls. Wow. They're just, uh, this place is crawling with galls. Uh, farm finished. We knew that. Six uh, leftover orders last time were sold for 60 gold. We're now got a nice gold build here. So plus 36, plus 28 on the food. We need more iron. Uh, we need a mine. And then we actually probably need another quarry. Um, what else happened? Duchess Erixo, we talked about that. She could be tutored, right? And that's what we did. Politics student. All right, let's end the year, and we're on to turn 13. This game really clips along once you get used to all of the settings, which really gives it a nice, you know, one more turn feel for certain. I, you know, I find myself always coming back and wanting to play this game a little bit because there's just, you know, endless possibilities, really. Enchanting conversation. During a royal feast, you share an enchanting conversation with one of your minor courtiers. The wine flows freely. 
Okay, well, is this getting romantic? As the two of you talk late into the night, the reverie comes to a close, but your companion lingers on as the rest of the guests depart. Uh, let's see where the night takes. I don't know where this is going. A ruler needs his rest. Uh, King Philip is not carnal. Well, here's the problem, right? Uh, last thing I need is our debauched queen consort Olympias mad at me. Uh, listen to me. I, what do I sound like? A cuckold. Uh, let's, uh, you know what? I'm just going to do this for fun. Let's see where the night takes us. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where the night took us. It's not showing me at the moment. Uh, that's funny. Corey finished. Hey, excellent. 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 And now you can see we're our, we're plus eight stone. That's huge. Uh, let's keep building it boys. Uh, now then, you can see some of their recommended things to build. We could build a Shrine of Zeus here, which uh, gets Greek paganism going, right? A farm, which would only be plus seven food. That's not huge. Build Cory, which is plus seven. More nets. We get more fish out here. That's a lot of food. But I think the obvious choice is to come and build. Now, could we do it? Let's go here first, okay? And Shrine of Zeus here, you can build it anywhere uh, if it's adjacent to a wonder, you get a plus one order. All right. Well, they want us to build it here. This is kind of a cool place to build it, right? I mean, it's got, uh, it's on this uh, isthmus. And uh, so I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to build the Temple of Zeus. Cool. I mean, we could have put that in town, I guess. I, I, I didn't see any other bonuses that were available. Uh, Rightio, these are still our warriors. I still want them on Sentry, but now we're up to 265 training. Uh, oh, these are our new warriors. Got it, got it, got it. Let's promote. Uh, Focus, Warden. Well, that's pretty powerful. Attack and plus 25% attack and defend from urban. Huh. Ranger. I think maybe I'll do this warden. Now, plus 10% uh, both attack and defend against melee. But these wardens are, that's that's a really powerful one. I'm going to want them to stay here. These guys can go out and fight the barbarians because they're good against tribal units and melee units. So if we want to fight some barbarians, that would be the crew to do it. These guys, meanwhile, let's sentry you up because you're not leaving Amphipolis. Amphipolis. Uh, I guess that's what I should call it. Okay, uh, we have now completed the warrior there, so we can decide what we want next. We could do a farmer, which would give us plus four food, plus one growth. Uh, we could also do, you know, one of these other things. Now, we are going to be getting a free settler here soon, and we still have not even found where we want to go next. Um, yeah, we don't have anybody in the Argiad family that's qualified to be a governor. Uh, that's the problem. Uh, we've got Diotima, the heckler. She's a heckler and she's a drunk. <laughs> that's funny. We've got a tracker. Uh, but we do not have anybody like uh, Hipparchia who would be a good governor. That's why we haven't been able to do it. We could gift Amphipolis to someone else. Now, I don't know why exactly we would do that. Not a fan. Let's build a farmer. So I like that specialization. Let's get that going. Next unit, the scout is up here checking out the Gauls. Saying, wow, that's, that's a lot of Gauls. Uh, let's go down here and start... You know, unlocking things. Corey was finished. City production. Amphipolis trained a unit. The warrior. Okay. We got to find another city to settle. We may end up having to attack some of these barbarians. Okay, we've got our free settler. Excellent. Where do we want to go next? Administration gives us the treasury and the granary. Okay. Husbandry gives us the pasture. Uh, Polis gives us Hamlet, Walls, Declare War, Aristocracy, Ambassador, Centralization, and Vassalage. Let's view the tech tree and see if there's something that jumps out at us. 
Uh, so Paulus, um, spoked wheel. If you see something like that, that means you have got to research this before you go to steel. So even though ironworking is not along this route, you have got to have uh, studied ironworking to go here. Uh, okay, Lee Husbandry, spoked wheel. Wow, spoked wheel looks fun. We could do a chariot eventually navigation okay good to know let's go back and think about this one again research aristocracy gives us an ambassador uh wisdom increases culture per city huh well that gives our capital city a plus 20 percent science that's not nothing certainly um the polis there's none of these I'm just dying for. I mean, they all help. Don't get me wrong. Um, the granary always helps as well. I think I'll do aristocracy. Okay, sure. Uh, worker be a talent for geometry. What is this? Duchess Arixo has shown a remarkable apt aptitude with mathematics and geometry. Rapidly mastering the basics. During a visit to the court, Arixo asked for advice. Engineers are, supply, are in short supply. She would become an engineer. As a general, she would be good against siege and sh uh, ship units. So it's kind of the same as the Sipsalids. That same uh, siege and ship units uh, carpenters, this would also be very similar. It is important to have a well-rounded education. Well, is this going to make her mad at me? I hope not. Um, eh, let's do that. Nine months ago, the morning after a great royal feast, you woke up next to one of your minor courtiers. The affair was short but fruitful. Your new child cannot inherit the throne, but it surely will be a blessing to your household. Well, let's see what our wife thinks about that. Uh, Queen Consort Olympias has now become estranged from King Philip as we now have an illegitimate child. Oh my gosh. Uh, that hurts, I think, that she's gone uh, because we lose some of her stuff. So now we lose her good stuff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I did that just for fun. I, <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, can, we, can we try to get her back? I'm sorry, Olympias. It was a night of revelry. Uh, well, I don't want to divorce her. Oh, that's sad. I mean, I don't feel like it was her fault. We could influence her, potentially, and get her back on our side. Oh my goodness. We've broken up a family here. This is this is outrageous uh what's happened. Um Well, let's go to the worker and see which worker we have here and what Oh, it's the settler. Well, we got to find a third city to settle. Uh the Gauls down here, sometimes you know, you just run across the open ones. Well, we haven't seen any of that. We've got to then go to the scout and try to maybe find one over here somewhere. I'm still upset about what happened to our marriage, guys. Uh, one night, you know, a little too much mead. Next thing you know, all family's broken up. All right. Uh, next unit. Uh, that's our settler. Okay, we already knew that. Well, they're going to have to pass this time because there's no place for them to go. That's a waste. We have got to remedy that situation. Uh, Bardillus was born. Uh, bonus effects. She was estranged. Can I click over that? Uh, opinion negative 100. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, you know, life happens. Comes at you fast. Uh, you have a new illegitimate son. All right. We already knew that. Let's turn the turn. And we're on to the next year. Okay. Duke Sepolis is now old enough to be tutored. Uh, we've encountered people from the realm of Rome. Oh, great. They are led by King Romulus the Enlightened, a boar with no personality who is likely to be disgustingly neutral. I want him to be neutral. How shall we approach him? Uh, maintain the initial truce. 
declare war. Well, let's maintain the initial truce. Uh, why would we do something different than that? Oh, we've got a gold mine out here, by the way. Uh, Shrine of Zeus is finished. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that beauty, right? Ooh, that Shrine of Zeus is nice. All right, cool. Uh, Pella finished a project, Festival 2. So that festival, if we go to Pella, the city screen, you can see it knocked back the discontent, and it's still a level zero. That's good. That's certainly good. Um, air education. Let's do that, first of all. Time passes quickly. Duke Sapolis is growing up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate him? Um... Okay, we've already got our daughter, Rixo. She's a politics student. What is uh, Sapolis good at? I don't know much about Sapola. Wow, that's even sadder, right? I broke up our marriage, and now I, our younger son, I don't know much about him. Uh, let, he could do commerce, potentially. He's got nothing right now, right? He didn't start with anything. Um... Let's do commerce. Sure, I you know, whatever. Your realm is growing and expanding, which is good, but members of your court have been expressing concerns that you lack sufficient levels of military leadership to conduct an effective campaign, either offensively or defensively. You have the opportunity to add a new general to your ranks. All that remains is the will to do so. Okay, uh, if we do 120 training, we would get a court soldier. 90 civics. Okay. Uh, ignore the warnings. Well, we would get more courage, but I don't, you know, I don't think that makes any sense. Let's do the training because we had quite a bit of that. A new court soldier, Balakris. Good old Balakris, who's a hero plus three courage. Okay, he's all good. Um, he's actually, if we go to Balakris here. He's a plus five courage. That's nice. We'll put him in charge of that one unit uh, that we've got. We've got Alexander in charge of one. We'll put him uh, in charge of the other. So let's back up really quickly. And I said the other. There's actually a few of them. Add a general here. And oh, wow. We've got a number of, you know, we've got Alexander in the one. You can see here, he's the general of the warrior, the Sipsalid warriors. Balakris, again, does not have a family, and so he can, you know, do any of these troops. Plus 21, though. Really like that attack strength. So we don't want him on the defensive guys. That's those guys. We want him on this one. That's fine. Let's do Balakris there. Okay. Just takes an order and they have to cool down. Now, these are the sentry guys, right? Uh, we don't have enough to do another promotion, but we could add a general to them if we wanted to. Anybody good at defense? Well, nobody in particular. Diotima, oligarch, Aegis. But it would make the Asians happy. I think we'll give it to him choose all right so now they've got a general as well if we look at all characters who hates us well our wife hates us princess consort metrodora dislikes us but i'm not that worried about that the two families the argids and the subsilids like us just fine um choose production pella let's do that now we could do a farmer um we could do another fisherman we could get an acolyte over here, potentially, or we could do a miner, which would give us another 10 stone. We're plus eight stone. What are we low on? It's iron. We've got to build a we've got to build a mine soon. This 11.5 looks very tempting, I've got to say. Now, we really don't want to be building warriors here, so it's either farmer, stone cutter, fisher, print, uh, apprentice, acolyte. We'll get to that, but I think I'm going to do the farmer, right? Well, we don't have any other stone. Uh, I mean, we're doing pretty well on food. Let's do the farmer. Okay, it's only going to take two years, right? So that's fine. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that she can actually hurry production. And so, hurry 
farmer for 190 civics, but plus 13 discontent. Well, it would only get to us one year earlier, so I think I'm not going to do that. How about that? Uh, fine. We've got a worker here now that is free. Oh, nope, that's the settler. I'm not going to do that again. Well, I probably will, but I don't want to do it again. Uh, plus seven. There's uh, more fishing to be had. There's also another quarry that we, or a quarry that we could build there for more rock. Uh, we could also do the Shrine of Hades. We've got uh, paganism going now. Why don't we go over and do another fishery? Just keep cranking that food, getting that growth. We've got the settler. Here is the scout. We need to find a third city. They're almost certainly... Ha there we go. That's what we needed, guys. Right there. There's a city site. And I'm going to go set him right there. And we're not going to move an inch uh, until we can get this settler over here. We have two orders left. Oh, by the way, what does Pella want to do? I thought we just picked this, didn't we? Right? I mean, we certainly did. Um, farmer. Yeah. Yeah, we picked that. I swear to God. But I guess when we hit on hurry production... Maybe that's what happened. Uh, the settler. Gosh darn it. This is huge. Look how far over here we can get. We're going to have a third city like now. There goes our settler. Okay, what happened this time? Finish Project Festival 2. Uh, we sold six extra orders for 60. We have met Rome. Greek paganism was founded. Wow, what a uh, what a huge year in uh, our empire. Although you can see here, we're at 3 of 55. We're tied with Rome. Egypt is up to 5. Uh, new courtier, Balacris the soldier. Let's try not to have an affair with him this time. Um, Greece, negative 20. Right, we got the court soldier. That's fine. Turn summary, Sepolis uh, can be tutored, and we decided to do that in commerce. And we'll just make sure there's nobody else to move here. I mean, they they could, but it'd be a forced march. So we're going to end the year there. I'm going to grab a drink really fast. That's why I'm coming up here to pause. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Queen Consort Olympias, our wife, uh, although estranged, has converted to Greek paganism. All right, well, that's because we built that temple of Zeus, and so now all of our peoples will start to convert. Prince Alexander the Bold, your son, and Princess Consort Metrodora have given birth to a daughter, Duchess Telesilla. Okay, well, uh, if Alexander becomes king, she is the first child, I think, of theirs. Is that right? Do they have one already? Um, who, I'm just looking here. Yeah, she jumps up to third. Oh, they did. Duke Pyrrhus, or Pyrrhus, uh, he was born before. Okay, and now we've got Telesilla. Got it. A delegation from Egypt is sent to help settle a minor dispute that is brewing between your two nations. At dinner, one of their party speculates on who could beat the gods of war, leading to a spirited debate. They put forward oligarch Oppi the hero as the best candidate. Some other visiting dignitaries suggest Queen Consort Pompeia the commander. Okay, that's uh, Roman. Okay, so we've got Egyptians and Romans here. Whom do you choose? Well, interesting. I agree uh, that Oppi is the superior general. Egypt becomes endeared to King Philip. King Romulus becomes disappointed. Let's be realistic. Everyone knows Pompeia is unbeatable. And then that's going to be just the opposite, right? Uh, I think we want Rome on our side. I'm just going to guess because they're going to be more militaristic, right? So let's pick Rome. Representatives from the Academy arrive at the court bearing news of Duchess Erixo. Boy, she's busy down there at the uh, tutoring center. Uh, she has been well and is unfortunately... She has... She has been well and is unfortunately turning out to be as shy as her mother. Okay, uh, unfortunate indeed. She lacks one courage. Come on, Erixo. Uh, if we look at our court now, let's just see, you know, uh, the queen consort's giving us negative four for our training. 
Uh, we're getting negative 20 gold from Prince Alexander being negative 2 in discipline. Hopefully we can get some kind of boosts or buffs for that. Because, I mean, that hurts. And we're only plus 17 per turn because of his negative 20. Uh, you know, he is helping with science and obviously with the training. Okay. Uh, Duke Pyrrhus, he's not doing anything. Duchess Telesilla is not. Duchess Erixo, she's helping us a little bit with civics, a little bit with science, and plus eight for the money. Uh, unfortunately, she is not courageous. And then we have Balakris the soldier. He gives us a plus 20 on our training. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, Duchess Telesilla was born. Nets were finished. Bonus effects. Rome likes us. Egypt does not. And they had a baby. Okay. Uh, next unit. Let's look at this worker. So uh, we've now built these nets here. We could build the Shrine of Hades here. We could also do the Shrine of Poseidon, I think, which would make a heck of a lot more sense. I don't know why they want us to do Hades. We could also go up here where there is honey and try to build a farm. I thought we already, yeah, we do have a farm there. Sorry, it still shows us honey. You can see the bees flipping around there. All right, so this worker could do stone here, but that's not a particularly great place to do it. Let's go here and do a Shrine of Poseidon. Awesome. So the Shrine of Poseidon will give us two culture per year, but negative two stone. Uh, but we're plus eight per turn on stone. Uh, it's really iron where we have a problem. Next unit. Now we get to go settle this town. Gonna settle this town. Uh, five. We could just do it right here instead of going all the way here. I don't see any reason why not to. Why waste an order, right? Let's go here. And then we're gonna found a city. We could either do more Argiads, uh, military. We could do more Subsilids uh, for culture. Um, and they would help us with mines. Now, we're probably going to have a chance to build a mine here by the volcano. Uh, we can do the civics and culture, or we could do civics and science. The sages, uh, urban specialists, okay. Uh, they can hurry. Projects. Hmm. Let's do... Let's do the alchemists. Uh, I think we're going to leave behind the Sulicids. They're kind of good at civics and culture, where here we're good at civics and science. Again, I'm trying to boost that science if we can. Uh, is that true? They can hurry projects with money. Family cities get plus two culture per specialist. Well, that's pretty good. Ah, let's do this. Let's do the sages. We get plus one... Uh, legitimacy greece discovers new technology oh that gave us a free one we get a new technology when we uh pick that family we got trapping okay so awesome uh we got a brand new technology there just for free uh let's go along here choose our production what do we want to do here probably a worker we need another worker i think so let's build a worker there it'll take five years uh, next unit, uh, we've got the scout. Let's see what the scout's up to. He can start heading out this way. Argaeus is the name of this volcano. Uh, let's just kind of go around here, see if we find anything else. Uh, you can see we're really nicely located here. We've got our town here, here, and here. All three on the water. Is the water, you know, is this ocean the south? The Indian Ocean, by the way. Or is it the, I think it's the south of this map, so we really, you know, shouldn't be able to get attacked from there. Now, our fourth city's probably going to have to be here where the Gauls are. We could go try to take the Barbarian group. I'm surprised the Egyptians aren't down here yet. Uh, the Scout, he can go a little bit further. So let's keep pushing it. Push it real good, Salt and Peppa. Uh, oh, we've got Roma. There is Roma right there. So we've got some Roma up here, it appears. Let's see a little bit of purple. Uh, interesting. Okay, uh, what happened this time? Byzantium was founded. We discovered trapping for free. Landmark discovered Argaeus. Uh, we get plus one legitimacy for that. We could try to then, uh, we do have one order left. Why don't we take 
these guys. They're already level three, right? Uh, they could upgrade for 210. Well, we've only got 135. Well, that's not going to work. Let's go to another group of warriors. It take 260 for them and 190 for them. So we cannot upgrade any warriors. Let's end the year. All right, it is year 17, Queen Consort Olympias the Younger is now the head of Greek paganism. Oh, wow, so she's our the head of our religion. Uh, she's gone from cautious to angry. She just does not like us now. Uh, Duke Pyrrhus can be tutored. Okay, what do we want him to do? Uh, he doesn't have anything yet. I like when they're wise, but... If he somehow became the leader, I would want him to be courageous. Let's study tactics. Uh, choose production in Pella. What do we want to do here? We just made the farmer. Uh, we could do one of the civics projects, which would only take two years. Council would only take one year. How are we doing on money? So we're plus 13, good on food, not so good on iron, getting better with stone. Uh, we could, if you hold down the alt key, you can see other things that you could build with what you've got. We can't do the fisher or the apprentice there. It costs a citizen. Oh, we need another citizen to do one of those. So we really can't do a whole hell of a lot until we get another citizen. Uh, we could do a worker in five years, but I think what we want to do, come down here, knock down the discontent again. Uh, we could do that, could do that, plus 40 growth, yeah, let's do festival, it's going to take a few years, that's fine, next unit, uh, the scout, let's get the scout rolling, 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 uh, there's Rome, okay, nice, good to know, uh, they like us, silver, Let's, uh, we can't harvest that. It's already been harvested. This is wine harvest. We'll do that. We get a little culture for that. Uh, he would have to force march. So what happened this time? Pella developed a specialist farmer. Uh, we sold our one max order for some gold. Um, Duke Pyrrhus get, got that plus one courage. Duke Pyrrhus was old enough to be tutored. Okay, we did all of those things. Do we have enough to train one of our warrior groups? Not that one, right? 250. Here we've got a 180. That's 248. Yep, we can promote them. Focus, Ranger, Brave against melee units. Let's do that. So, you know, they've got a lot of bonuses now. Uh, and let's end the year. We're now into... Year 18, we're in second place. We've got four points. Egypt has five. Okay. Like all aristocratic Greek children, part of Erexo's education is in learning the art of the muses to play the lyre and recite ancient poetry. Seen as essential skills, they are sadly not Erexo's forte, but she loves playing the music. Will you encourage this passion for the arts? Well, she just needs more training. Uh, okay, that's what they all say, right? 230 gold. No more of this, please. But she wouldn't like us anymore. Let's just, uh, we can spend the gold, you know. I mean, we're only running a plus 10, though. We've got to start uh, figuring out ways to uh, make a little bit more money, certainly. Uh, we're behind it. Amph Amphipolis and Byzantium, but that could change. I mean, they're they're spending more than they're taking in. Uh, what else is going on here? Is this uh, farmer is completed down here. Now we could do another specialist, potentially, eventually, the Fisher, or these are the Argiads, right? Yeah, Argiad family. Uh, send or stop sending luxuries. Send die. Oh, yeah, everybody wants the dies. Um Let's hold down alt. We could do a slinger. We haven't done that before. Oh, uh, that would give us a fourth unit. So we've already got this farmer out here. That's looking pretty good. Settler, worker, scout, militia. Huh. I think 
Let's do the slinger. Okay, we'll do slinger and you can see now we're down to zero stone. And so we're going to be paying for it 4.5 gold pieces each time. Not good. Uh, the worker out here, he needs to find some stone. Uh, and also, I mean, we need to mine too. Um, build Odeon. We could build a farm out here for a plus eight. Oh, you can see our two cities are starting to kind of combine there, right? Uh, we could go out here. Oh, yeah, we can build a farm there. That's fine. Do we want to? I Well, that I don't know. Um, what if we went here? Here? Um, Odeon, Corey. Well, they're adjacent. They would be adjacent. That is true. Tell you what, I'm going to think about that one. I'm going to call this an episode for now. When we come back, we're still doing aristocracy here. Uh, we'll have to figure out what we want our worker to build. I mean, ultimately, we need iron and stone. That's our problem right now. Um... Other than that, looking good. We founded our third city here. The Romans are right here, though, and that'll end up getting interesting, won't it? I may take this worker and put it over here in this town. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Until next time, Strategy Gaming Dojo. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in.